Hi everyone, this is Belinda for burnbright.com.au. Today we're going to be making a card. And this is going to be quite a fancy card, so you'll have to bear with me. Today we're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil or a pacer, a stylus, a scalpel, a paintbrush, an eraser, a ruler, some double sided tape, ribbon, a pair of scissors, some brads, which are just basically decorative split pins. And to add a little bit of extra zing, I've got some craft chalk here and some glitter. Alrighty, so let's get on with it. Our first step to making this card is to cut our piece of 12 by 12 paper, which is the scrapbooking size, in half. So that makes it 6 inches. Uh, the paper that I've chosen today is from the Airy Fairy collection of Kayser Craft. And this piece of paper is called Whimsy, which goes perfectly with the person I'm making the card for. And as you can see, this is a double-sided piece of paper. So we have pretty beautiful purple butterflies on one side. And then we have almost like dandelion fluff on the other side. Now generally I want to cut the paper lengthways rather than crossways. And you'll see why once I keep going. But if your pattern runs this way rather than this way, go for it. I'll get back to you once I have cut this piece of paper in half. As you may notice, I have the Kayser Craft labelled down the bottom here and I want to remove that as well. Now, if you're not old school, that's about 15 centimetres across. It's at this point that we want to make a mark at our halfway point. So I'm working in the old school measurements, in the imperial measurements, and that's just a squidgy bit over six inches. And it's also at this point that we want to turn our card into a three-fold card. So we make nice heavy creases, and we crease into our halfway point, and we do the same again creasing into our halfway point. Now if you would like to put your card this way that's fine too. You can stop at this point if you would like. Uh, I'm not going to however. Okay to cover up some of my mistakes I have made previously with a shoddy scalpel <laughs> I'm going to add a little definition to the sides of my card. It also gives it an aged look if that's what you're going for. Uh, these craft chalks are done by a company called Creative Memories, which is essentially a scrapbooking company. Uh, I th believe it's an American based company, but we do have Creative Memories sales reps in Australia. Uh, their products can be quite expensive, but if you're lucky, you get them while they're on sale. Okay, so we're at this point with our card. You can stop here if you would like, as it's really got an, a nice amount of room to write messages and things in it. Uh, add a bit of glitter at this point. It would just look fantastic as it is. I'm going to take it one step further, and I'm going to use, I don't know, I suppose you could call it a die cut shape that I got from a pack that I bought a fair while ago. I don't necessarily think that colors work with everything, but as far as the shape goes, it's really nice. So I'm going to trace this onto this piece of paper, which is in fact the same piece of paper. It's just the other side. And then I'm going to cut it out. And of course, we all know how to do that. You just trace around it with a pacer or a pencil. And then you cut it out. And you don't need to see me doing that. So I'll get back to you once I'm done. Okay, my next step for this piece of paper is to go around and erase any of our pencil marks and after that I'm going to be using my craft chalk again and I'm going to go around the outside of the shape and this is the same process as we had before uh, you can use just a small ink pad to do exactly the same thing just go lightly uh, that means you can pretty much do this in any color that you can get your ink in you make a small hole 
in what will be the top of our piece of paper. Put your bread through. Use a stamp or stickers or just plain hand where you feel confident enough with your writing. And remembering that we're going to be putting our piece of paper on the bottom, we want to have it facing this way and stamping on thanks. We then want to consider our ribbon. The best way to seal the ends of ribbon is to use a candle and just wave the ribbon near but not through the flame and be very careful please do this with an adult if you're young be careful if you're young at heart because it can be hot we want to measure out approximately from halfway through that one and then down and across our piece so that we have enough there to twirl around our brad. Now taking into account that our piece will be going up there, yes that's fine. Now it's time for our double sided tape. Easiest way to do this is to place it on the back of the piece that we're sticking onto our card and just get a rough estimate. I like to use the method of putting down a piece of pencil marking and putting tape where it needs to be and then rubbing out our line. And putting double sided tape on the ends. Put some double sided tape approximately halfway a piece of paper. This will doubly reinforce the sticking down of this piece, but it will also stick our ribbon down. And we want to do this before we put paper down so that this will in fact be stuck down even further. A tip with doing double sided tape, when you're not sure where you want to place things, take it halfway and bend it down like that. These ones have to come up before we stick it down. We line it up on our card. And then you simply just pull at the two pieces that aren't stuck down. And we are almost finished. As a final touch to making this probably one of the most beautiful cards I think I've ever made, I'm going to add some glitter to both the butterfly up here and to the edges of our stenciled piece of paper. Uh, we only want to add a small bit around the edge because less is more. It's time to begin. And once it's dry, you're done. So as you can see, the card is now done, the glitter is dry. The only thing left to do is write in the card, put our ribbon around our brad, and it should stay sharp. This is Belinda for burnbright.com.au, hoping that you will have a fantastic card making experience sometime very soon. Bye!